What's up, sexy Sam Lotus Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. Hold on, let me put my face cam on. Cut it off. Not bad. There you go. Um, we're fighting a Kali today, which is a little bit spooky. Only slightly, of course, though. Just put one point in everything, I think. He's gonna out clear me. Uh, he's gonna out clear me for buffs so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be backing a bunch this game so I'm gonna pick up speed buff and then go probably straight to wave so that I can out clear his, uh, his wave clear and like I said, I, I think I'm probably just going to be backing a whole bunch this game. Not really putting a whole lot of time into uh, each single push. Because I'm not going to have all the mana in the world. I would like to get my blue here. And he's doing, he's taking a lot of damage from that minion wave since I pushed so hard. It's a pretty good start. Actually, I'd argue that's a really good start. Alright, one auto in the back line kills that. Let's go back now. Because like I said, I, I don't really want to stay each push very long. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to stay in each push very long because... If I overextend even a little bit, Kali will be able to take advantage of it. Especially because I'm outwash. I have no movement ability. No leap, no jump, no... Not even a movement speed increase, you know? Like... If he lands on me, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> there's, there's no ifs about it. I'm just dead if he lands on me, so... We gotta be really careful about how we play this early game. And... Really, really careful about how we play the late game. Uh, I will be contesting red because he doesn't have anything right now. I'm actually just gonna ult this wave. The reason I ulted the wave is because I could poke him out so heavily there that there's no way he would win a fight even with his ult up uh, against against me uh he, he there's no way he would want to fight against me and be able to get red that actually did hit him i'm willing to drop this immediately if i see him i don't need to full commit Alright, he never showed up, which means a red buff is mine. Alright, wave clear, easy peasy. Let's go back, we'll get our full breastplate right now. Which leaves us pretty good for a fight, I'd say. If we do want to take a fight now. A finished breastplate with the red buff. Not bad. It's pretty up there in the power ranking of uh, first fights you can take. Let's see. When he jumped there, he didn't ult. Yo, he really didn't ult that. He didn't think it would kill him, huh? Well, that's super lucky for me. All right, cool. First blood is mine. There's no way I die there, but I just didn't know if I would get the kill. I guess he really thought that he could hold ult. 
Or maybe he was trying to Aegis and didn't know that his Aegis was on cooldown or something. Or maybe it had like one second left. That's happened to me a few times. Well, I've finished boots after this buff. Which actually will put me at max cooldown. Alright, cool. Go back. Got the booties. Now I'm... That's 16 stacks away in my Mage's Blessing, so 3 waves away from having 40% cooldown, which is awesome. In fact, actually, I'll just pick up this blue buff and have 40% right now. He did finish Boots, so he's slightly more scary than he was previously, but still not enough to warrant me being genuinely scared. That actually stopped his back. Alright. 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 Uh, can I kill here? Potentially? No, I cannot. What I can do, though, is clear and make him lose an entire wave to Phoenix at five minutes. This is going really well, literally just because... <laughs> Appa is behind me, by the way. Um, oh, we won. Nice. Look, Appa, where's my, where's my, where's my pop? I can't. Where's my, where's my? Appa? Appa, come here. Appa, pop. Appa, pop. Pop. It's so high, I know. I can't. Up up paw. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> the, stre the stretch to give me paw. What a cutie. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Lenners? What did we're here doing a ranked 1v1? I don't know if this is gonna be uh first or second game. I I don't know if I'm gonna put this one first or second, but Either way, this is the second one that I'm playing. And I think against Neath, I don't need to start super tanky. I'm gonna start Lifesteal. I'm just gonna blow up my corpses. My clear is gonna be really slow because I fucked it up. It took a long time for me to decide my tier one items, so that's all right. His clear is going to be pretty quick. Not his buff clear, but his, his actual clear is going to be pretty quick. I wonder if I can match it, though. Like, he'll backflip and explode the wave and, like, insta-clear it. But I wonder if I can match it with my 1-3-2. He's not even here, actually. There he is. We didn't even backflip it. Maybe he doesn't have his backflip. Oh my god! That did so much damage, what the fuck? It was actually unexpected. Like, I knew it would hit him, because he didn't have his backflip, but I didn't think that it would do 75% of his HP. Oh, that hit me. Oh, god. I'm doing all sorts of numbies right now. Alright, he has his backflip up now. Well, he used it, so it's not up now, but... If I can kill him when my one comes up. Oh no, he's playing back. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. If I get his leap, and then he pushes up... I could potentially get a kill. He has Aegis, so maybe not, but... That's what the potentially was for. Oh, that hit me. Ouch. Okay. Alright, we got his alt and his relic. He only got my alt, so... I actually consider that a win still. I think we're just gonna go boots first. I don't need to go for a lifesteal first item. Ow. 
damage is so high. I feel like... Even though Alpwash's damage is super high, I think he might need a rework. Because to be... First off, he's just straight up not viable when it comes to Conquest. At all. Uh, but to be a viable mage, you have to have one of two things. Right? You either have to be safe, like Thoth, or have really good secure over something like a Poseidon Kraken, a Raw Alt, a Thoth Alt. Um, you know, something like that. All these mages, the game, have either one of those two things. Some of them have two of those two things. Uh, Alpwash has neither of those. Like, <laughs> you can't ever secure... I guess you could technically stack six corpses, but if you're stacking six corpses, then someone runs at you from the side, all your cooldowns are down, you're dead as fuck. You have no mobility, and your burst is already on the... is all set up on the gold fury that you're doing, or... Bull Demon or Fire or whatever. It's all set up on that, so you have nothing to defend yourself because your cooldowns are down because you just use them to secure, right? So, you're just kind of dead. Which kind of, it's like, it feels bad. Does Appa agree with me? Yeah. So, I feel like Alpwash needs something. I don't know what it is exactly. But he needs something different. <laughs> I actually wish I knew what it was. What? What was that about? I wanna... I want to think about a new Alpwash and how you can make one. Because while yes, he does do damage, his damage requires so much setup and is so unsafe. What could his one be? His one could be like... Honestly, I actually think his one is okay. I think his one is okay. And... I think his two is okay. So I think you need the three and the four reworked. Because a one-two combo... It's relatively fast cooldown. And it's good burst damage. But the three could be like... An underground dash, almost like Scylla has, but like, maybe he goes down. You know how Hades leaps down into the underground, or like into the underworld and back up? Because he's the god of the dead. Maybe you could do something like that with like, a gravestone. Without Pwash, to give him some mobility. So that you have the 1-2 combo for the burst damage. And the setup. Maybe buff the damage of the two slightly. When, it, when there's no corpses involved, so that it's not completely reliant on only comboing, like Nox is, which is another god that's fucking bad, but at least she has mobility. Um, so maybe the three could be some sort of a dash, and the alt could be... I don't know, just one big numby. A longer range monkey. What if his alt was like, like Persephone passive? Like you could res a teammate that was dead for eight seconds to fight with you, but that teammate that you res does less damage, like a less percentage damage, like fifty percent of his normal damage or something. Because he is the the god of the dead, right? He summons corpses to do his being. 
If you have a dead teammate on your team, you could summon him to, to, to be your little minion for 8 seconds, doing 50% of his normal damage. I sense everything. That'd be pretty fucking sick. Well, it wouldn't help you in duel. I think, I think it would be way better for conquest and balance in general. And I also think it would be a ton of fucking fun. Um, but to answer your question, no, obviously this all currently is better for duel than what I'm proposing. But I think it would just be good in general. It's just better than what he has at the moment. In general. I mean, look at it this way. Athena ult is one of the best ults in Conquest. But it's complete hot shit. AKA non-existent, really. When it comes to duel. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's because her other abilities do ass butts tons of damage. I don't know. Look, I'm just spitballing, okay? I, I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just saying he needs to be changed a little bit. I do think the three should be a dash instead of more damage, though. Because his one-two combo is enough damage. Like, look at this. That does enough damage, right? It's on a six-second cooldown. It's fine. But the fact that you do that and then have no escape afterwards is kind of shitty. And the one, the one three-two combo takes too long to execute. You're like you're casting shit for like three seconds just for them to backflip away, and you have no cooldowns. You know. Maybe I'm just projecting. Need a new outpost because I'm shit at this one. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> From now on, you're holding me. <laughs> What do you think is all should be, babe? Give me an outpaw shot. Yeah, but you know what outpaw shot does. Give me an outpaw shot idea. Like spawn a bunch of his corpses, like Set does, I guess, when he ults. No, that, that'd be fucking the nuts. And then explode all 20 of them. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be ridiculous. I do like that idea though, actually. Maybe it's spawning already, minions? Already... No, but like... Maybe when you alt, it doesn't gradually increase. You just get like... Like a circle around you of like six minions or corpses that you can instantly teleport to a location to blow up. Hmm. I want a new Val Post. What do I build? Um, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, they know. Well, actually, I don't know if YouTube knows. YouTube, did you know? I've been talking to it like it's a child. YouTube, did you know? Um, I've been putting a lot of hours into, into Batois recently. Zelda. Breath of the Wild. The game is uh, pretty fucking sick. I'd say it's... I'd say, honestly, it's 10 out of 10. But I'm going to lower it down to a 9.9 .9 out of 10. For the simple fact that rain in that game fucking sucks. Because when it rains, literally all of my weapons are always metal. And then it's a thunderstorm and I'm like, okay, now i got to run around fucking butt-ass naked. For like 30 seconds. Until the rain goes away. That's annoying. Not to mention, all these fucking Korok seeds where you need to climb. And I go to get the Korok seeds and oh, what do you know, it's fucking raining. I can't even go. But everything else is great. It's definitely like a 9.9 out of 10. It honestly, it's probably a 10 out of 10 for somebody that doesn't care about the rain as much as I do. But I gotta be honest. All of my weapons are metal all the time, and when it thunderstorms and I gotta be I gotta sit there naked for a while, it's pretty obnoxious. Also, I really like the Blood Moon aspect of the game where basically it's just like a map reset. You can go and get those weapons that you like so much. For me personally, every Blood Moon I just go and farm more Savage Lynels, so I can get Savage Lynel bows and and uh, the one-handers. I don't very much like the two-handers because I'm not very good at perfect dodging. I'm much better at just blocking with a shield. <laughs> Which I guess, to be fair, you don't really have to be good at. You just pull the button. But yeah, I like that more, so I'm more of a one-hander boy. We'll never get this. I'm sorry, Alpha. Did you want to get this? Oh, six corp explosion. Boom! That did like a thousand damage. <clears throat> Man, I really want it. You know what, chat? The only comments I want on this YouTube video. I don't want anyone to say, oh, Sam, you're so nice and awesome and sexy and humble and funny and great and awesome. Yes. What I want to see in the comments are just outwash alt ideas. Because I'm going to pitch high res a new outwash. We as a community are going to rework outwash, not necessarily for duel, but just in general. And it'll be great. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. Hi, Appa. Okay, Appa. 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 Pa. Pa. I know he is really scared on this table. Appa. Pa. If I put you on. Appa. Pa. Oh, you're just standing on it. Appa. Pa. <laughs> He's on the like, He's like, can't reach it. 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 Can't reach